Hmm. Okay. I want to say welcome to the very first YouTube show. And I've said this welcome many, many times, so I don't know which one's going to make it, but maybe this will be it. I don't know about my name is Chris Johnny. My name is Chris Johnny. My name is Chris Johnny. I'm a designer and gardener. Let me, let me start one more, one more, one more intro. So my name is Chris Johnny. Uh, I'm a designer and gardener, and you are at Nochi Sonoma, and we're calling it the Edible Garden Adventure Club. It's a club of one family, us. <laughs> my wife is Aria Johnny, and we have two kids, eight and five, and we got a few dogs. We got uh, a gardener named George. Okay, so you're gonna meet a lot of people. And <laughs> one of those people is my wife. Ow, poop! Basil the dog. And this is my wife. Hey, what's your name? This backlight is terrible on my hair. Look at that. Mm. Yeah, much better. I mean, it's like a poof. It's mm. Jew hair, is what that is. Mm. Oh, should I not mention I'm Jewish? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my cookies from my cookbook. Is this from our garden? <laughs> no. <laughs> she's not grow sesame seeds. Oh. These are toasted sesame cookies. Can I try them? Mm. My hands are dirty. Mm. They're good, huh? Mm -hmm. You like them? You don't know what they are? Come on. <laughs> are you kidding? The what? taste is very obvious. What is it? Come on. It's your favorite it's like thing. It's peanut butter. Yes, but it's not. It's your favorite nut butter. Tahini. That's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I am heading out to the garden because I gotta grab something. I gotta grab an onion start. They grow on its own in the field. Because I'm going to show you how to use your self-seeding onions for your spring garden. There we go. Okay, we have arrived. Today we're going to talk about how to be lazy and still have starts ready for the spring. I'm doing onions because, you know what, I'm clearing this field, which I'll show you, and um, turns out the seeds that hit the ground from last fall have sprouted into new plants. So we have shallots, bunching onions, and leeks have all reseeded. Now the beds are a mess, they're full of you know, mustards and other kind of weeds. So I gotta clear the weeds, space out the shallots and the bunch of onions and leeks so they all look pretty and they have room to get big and, and be something that we wanna eat. So let's check, check this out. 
All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find some bunching onions and remove them from this garden and put them up in the front in the market garden. Now, if you just look right here, like these are a bunch of onions all down this row. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it down like a grass and they're all gonna grow up brand new sprouts. It's pretty amazing. So you don't really need to pull your bunch of onions, in my experience. You don't need to pull them out of the ground and get the roots out of the ground. Just cut them down like a grass, they'll come back. Same with the shallots. Cut them down, and they come right back. Okay, so let's find some new starts that came from the seeds. Oh, there's some, right there, right there. So I'm just gonna dig this up with my digging knife. You can use all kinds of different knives. I, I, most times I just have my regular knife on me and I use that, but digging knife is the way to go. So we're just gonna dig in here. Just make sure we get the roots. And you can see it's soft. It's uh, January, it's been raining. This has all been composted. So it's very soft, just dig it up and get the, get the roots and all. Just don't damage the plant. End up with a brand new baby start right there. A new bunch of onion. Let's take that to the market garden, put it in a new bed, and we're done. We didn't have to go to the greenhouse. We didn't have to seed the greenhouse. We didn't have to water the greenhouse. Okay, we're just about there. This is, uh, we've made it now over to the market garden. This garden is, as you can see, it's super weedy. It's middle of winter. And you know, the gardens in the winter don't look like much, but a lot is happening. You just don't realize it. And in just two months, this place is gonna be packed with color and packed with all kinds of things growing. It just blows your mind. Here's one way to tell we have an organic garden. When you have frogs living inside here that are happy. Look at that guy. Happy guy. We are in a beet bed that has only a little bit of weeds. Uh, has good horse manure, or cow manure actually. It's super aged and some compost and some hay that we created this bed out of. And now we're just gonna de-weed it a little bit and put in our new bunch of onions. Look at all these guys. So I'm gonna separate them. Let's do that. Get a single onion, roots, finger. I'm just making rows, you know. You can do whatever you want, but just to keep it nice and clean looking and garden-like in spring, uh, some kind of formal to the garden, I'm doing rows. So, and I'm doing them about six inches apart, six inches. I'm just using my fingers, which my wife would not like. <laughs> it's that one thing. It's easy, don't worry about it. You're not farming, just get out there and do it. Um, and you'll be shocked how beautiful this will get. Uh, even if you don't eat all of these onions, to do a whole bed like this, they're gonna flower. They're gonna have big ball flowers. It's beautiful. You can use that in a vase. Um, it's just rewarding. I don't know. Super simple. Anyone can do this. You saw how quick I did it. I didn't. The only new tool I had was my digging knife. And if I can do it with the digging knife, you could do it with a shovel, a rake, special, uh, you know, shovel, whatever you got. Or you can use your fingers. What are you doing, George? Okay, so that's that's a lupin. Yeah. So I was planting onions. George is planting lupins. But same idea, right, George? Yes. Same so idea. <laughs> we threw these seeds down in the um, Cosmo field. Uh -huh. So we did a field of Cosmos, and they got six, seven feet tall. And but we also had thrown down lupin seeds, which is a permanent plant in the Cosmos knot. And we went back, it's January, we went back, and we have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of baby lupin. And so cosmos have receded, so we probably are not gonna see the lupin. 
So we're rescuing them and moving them to bigger open spots. Yeah, and transplanting in different spots. And unfortunately, where we are right now is we're next to the buildings and we had all heavy construction equipment here and they drove back and forth and compacted it. So it's a little hard. Yeah. So, and it's clay. Mm -hmm. So George in some spots is having to really, really dig. Unlike what I did back there, I just kind of moved it around. <laughs> <laughs> you ever feel like you can never get your hair right? <laughs> okay. So we're gonna talk about, uh, this is our first show, very first YouTube video on our new channel. <clears throat> Welcome to Nochi Sonoma. I'll be your host. I'm not gonna be your host. So here we are in the entryway to the garden office, my office. And I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna show you. These are all the things, look at that, that we are growing at Nochi. Some of them are permanent, some of them are annuals. Um, it's a combination. And so I've had a passion for reading about gardening. You know, I've got books and I've been reading, I've been watching videos, but you know what I haven't seen? I haven't seen anybody do what I end up doing naturally making it beautiful in design and part of your life. So, uh, my glasses change colors as I get in the sun. They're working from the 70s. But this show's not gonna be about, you know, how do you make a market garden and turn your front yard into a garden and get out to the market, the farmer's market and make 100,000 or sell it to the restaurants and so on. That's not what this is gonna be about. That's not what I'm doing here. I want you to do is somehow make a living have time to have a garden um, and live in my garden. <sighs> seeing trees grow, seeing things mature uh, and having time just to appreciate that and be within it. That is what this is about. So this is not gonna be a tutorial. I might do that in the future, but this channel is not gonna be a tutorial about gardening. This is gonna be about living in a garden. And that could be anything, that could be from you know, saving seed to designing a fireplace to uh, stylizing with flowers from transplanting to whatever I'm doing that day to run a 24 acre garden that I live in. Whatever I gotta do, you're gonna come along with me. And the jobs are all over the place. Um, but the bulk of it will be about passion of gardening and uh, living within the garden, harvesting the garden, making something from the garden, and sharing the garden. You know, so hope you sign up. Hope you're curious to why it looks like this. Before I go, last thing uh, I want to say is uh, um, this winter, while it's a little slower and we're just prepping and getting things ready, I want to start practicing my grilling and fermenting. So we have beets in the field right now. And um, this spring we're gonna have, you know, all kinds of things. So I gotta get ready for fermenting. This is a book from Noma and they are like super into it. Guide to Fer Fermentation. And Camino is all about smoking, cooking with fire. And I've gotta find something to snack on quickly. Mm. And this is basil. You meet basil a lot. I'm basil. He's a Compton dog. I have the soup from El um, Nopalito. Mm. You like mm. that? Yeah. Why am I so fat, babe? <laughs> why are you so fat, babe? I'll tell you why you're so fat. <laughs> First of all, you're short, so you shouldn't be eating chips and beer at mm. midnight. Mm. Don't <laughs> blame my cooking making you fat. I'm not fat. <laughs> I don't snack on chips and beer in the middle of the night. I don't do it. Why? Why? You're asleep. You're old. <laughs> Your metabolism slows down. You need those chips or the beer or the port. You just watch. You need to have water. Have a grapefruit. That's why. And you're not fat. You just got a little gut. Yeah. <laughs>
one last thing. If you actually want to come to Nochi this uh, spring and summer, um, we are going to be launching a summer pass or, or season pass for 2020. Uh, hit our website and you'll start seeing it coming up soon. Season pass is either for two days, 10 days, or 20 days. That's what I think right now. Um, you get a season pass, you get to come out here and harvest and hang out in the gardens and uh, cook with us. Okay, so if you're into that, spread the word. Northern California, Hillsborough, California, just outside of San Francisco, you can be in the Nochi Garden. All you have to do is get a season pass. Season passes.